Okay, it's recording. It didn't happen to... So we'll just see, look at the clouds over there. Okay, so I'm just looking to see, just double checking to make sure this camera works. Because if it does, that would be perfect. Okay, so last night I uploaded a video and I apologize. I was using my phone. <laughs> um, so I know the quality wasn't that great and it's probably not going to be a whole lot better. But I did go down to my local pawn shop this morning and I got this little camera for only nine bucks. And yeah, it's just a little camera. And so I decided to do another quick video so I could try it out. There's one of my bell peppers. And this one has two. There's one there and it's kind of hard to see the other one. Let me see if I can get closer. There it is. There's one, and there's the other. So, on my beats. So it's gonna. We just had a rainstorm, a little thunderstorm, come through here. Oh, look at my hostas. You didn't get to see the flowers. So there's the flowers coming up from my hostas, and all my mint. So let's go and take a better look at my garden. Oh, the birds are going nuts here. So, they just got a nice drink from the little thunderstorm we had. And let's see if I can... I'm going to play with this little camera while I'm doing this. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's... Zoom in. And zoom out. So these are the better boys that are coming on. Um, and then over here is Brandy Wines. Oh, and this one's finally getting a little bitty tomato. Let me get a little closer. Alright. It's such a little screen it's hard for me to see. But, at least I'm able to see this a little better. Okay, here's a nice tomato coming on the brandy wine. Right down there. And over here is brandy wine. It's got quite a few on it. Let's see, let me get a little closer. There they are. Over here... These are loaded, and these are the Carolina Golds, and it's just loaded with tomatoes everywhere. If you look down through there, and here's another one. And they're still, I mean, they're setting like crazy. But you can see there's all kinds of more. This is the Sweet 100 Cherry Tomatoes. We've actually got a few ripe ones off of this one already. And there's one. A couple of them. Down there. That are ready? Okay, and behind here, these are the Hillbilly. Tomatoes. They're a potato leaf variety because the leaves resemble that of a potato plant, which I have some of them too. So we're getting a lot of those. Over here is my potatoes. Corn in the middle. More potatoes. Okay. And here is some of the big boys. Let me get up this little hill here. Big boys. 
And along in through here, and you can see I'm getting flowers everywhere. I should start getting little baby green beans before long. These are the Blue Lake Bush beans. I always have luck with them, and they're so good. The bad part is, is you got to get on your hands and knees to pick them a lot, or bend over. Um, so, and then over here, I had a volunteer plant, winter squash. I'm not sure what kind of winter squash. Um, I'm hoping it's like a a butternut would butternut squash would be my favorite. No flowers yet. But this came up, and we decided to let it go, because we could tell it was something. Alright. And then, oh, I'll walk back up here. Oh. Hawk. <laughs> it's plastic. Anyway. A couple of more of my sweet 100s. Oh, yeah, I've got a ripe one back in there, and some ripe ones down here. Yeah. Very happy. Very happy with that. They're really tall, too. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. I'm going to have to pick berries again. There's all kinds of berries hitting the ground. Ah, seedling come up right there. That'll probably be a zucchini. Uh, over there, that'll probably be my watermelon. I didn't think one of them survived, but it did. So, there's a mint. That helps to keep pests away. Right down there is a cucumber. Another cucumber. There's about four of them. I had six. Something ate it. And over here are my pumpkins. I just heard a little bird squawk at me. And because it's not getting a whole lot of sun back in here. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at what I just found. It's a face. Oh, my gosh. Let's take a better look at that. Now, I've been digging out, when I was digging up and finding old bottles and stuff like that, which I'll take you on one of my digging excursions, but I'm always seeing people like the northern mudlarks or kitten caboodlers or sci fines and, um, who's the other one I watch? Nicola White. Of course, they're across the pond, um, and they're always finding little faces and keeping them. I'm going to keep that. I might do a craft with that. That is so cute. Isn't that something? Right in my own garden. This is where I find everything. In this particular spot, too. I'm always finding marbles up in here. And I need to really dig over in here. Is what I need to do. But I'm going to wait until autumn. Um, now I've dug up back in these, this little patch of woods here, too. And found things. Oh, I found one antique Pepsi bottle, rare, very rare, because it's green, um, from 1939. It, uh, I believe it was Columbus or somewhere. Anyway, a local to Ohio, Southern Ohio um, bottling company, 1939. Um, <laughs> And it's very rare to find an intact, embossed Pepsi bottle in the color green. Okay, you didn't get to see my scarecrow, my scare skeleton. And that is a solar light hanging in his chest. <laughs> trying to keep deer and animals out. So yeah, you got to see the garden a little bit better. And some of my plants. And I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, my little gnome. <laughs> I'm happy with my garden this year. It's really producing. Anyway, that's it for now. See ya.
And there she is all cleaned up. She's pretty.